be here. I appreciate uh, being able to just pop in and, of course, lend whatever kind of support that we can for Karen. She's going to be a great United States Senator from the great state of Georgia. And really, it's always a pleasure to be back in the, the peach state with all you beautiful Southern Bells. I uh, really. The nicest people, the hospitality here is, you have a reputation for that wonderful hospitality and, and it is so accurate, it is so true. But it's especially nice to be amongst a, a group of hardworking, patriotic, conservative women who understand, you all understand how important it is to get our country back on the right track because I think you have a sincere appreciation for what it is that makes America so exceptional. And you also understand, we don't need people back in Washington who want to fundamentally transform this country. We want to fundamentally restore all that is good about America, all that is right about America. And I think what it's gonna take across this country are people like you, I call y'all, I call y'all, <laughs> not, not you guys, I call y'all Mama Grizzlies. Because in my state, back on my home turf, I, I watch the bear, li literally. I get to watch bear, and I watch them in their natural habitat as they, d is, does she want to ask a question? <laughs> no, she's doing her live stand-up. Oh, think. I see, okay. All right, we should get used to things like that. Because uh, <laughs> we're here for Karen, and hopefully she's going to ask Karen. state, I watch these mama grizzlies, and they're the ones out there in the streams catching the salmon, working so hard, feeding their cubs, fending off the bad guys who would come and try to threaten their cubs. That's the future generation. I look at the women across America who understand how important it is that we send good folks to Washington to work for us as equivalent to those mama grizzlies who will do whatever it takes to defend the future generations of America, our kids and our grandkids. And what's going on in Washington right now will harm our children, our grandchildren. This debt that we are growing day by day, we will soon be beholden to those who hold our note. And someday that note will be called for, asked for, and where will we be? It is unfair, it's immoral to do this to these future generations of Americans. So we will not do this. I am so proud to get to lend some support to Karen though. She, last go around, we had fun together, working together. And I think it was meant to be perhaps the outcome of that race so that she could be in this race, to win this race, to do for our country what needs to be done. You know her background, you know her record. Her record is truly the, the conservative who has walked the walk, not just talked the talk in this state, uh, in, in this area. It, cutting budgets, not raising taxes. When it comes to social issues, she walking the walk when it comes to pro-life issues, understanding that, <laughs> understanding that sometimes on principle you have to take a stand and she put principal above paycheck in leaving a job that um, called for her to change principal. To me, that, that's very admirable. Um, she cutting your agency's budgets by 20%. How often do you see that in government, where somebody actually gets in there and does what they tell the people who hire them that they'll do? They actually fulfill promises. That is, I mean, that's like common sense. The rest of us would expect that but it comes as a surprise to many in the political circles. We don't have to be surprised when Karen comes through doing what it is that she says that she will do. You know, I, I want to add something else to uh, a recent development in your race because it's really, it shouldn't take me aback, it shouldn't surprise me, but it's so disappointing to see that some, someone in particular, would denigrate, try to degrade Karen's background. and. What, what Karen has gone through has empowered her 
to understand the real world, to understand the challenges that everybody else faces. We have different levels of challenges. We have, um, you know, some of our challenges are front page of the National Enquirer once in a while, right? <laughs> and many of them are made up by, but what Karen has gone through and has overcome is what we need exemplified and, and emulated in this country. circumstances in a home growing up, less than ideal circumstances. She did something about it. She wasn't just a, a victim. She, she did something about it, and she pulled herself up with, the, with bootstraps and with hard work and with perseverance and tenacity, all those things that bode so well for what it is that she's going to do for our country because she, she's lived it. Nothing was handed to her on a platter, fed to her via a silver spoon. <laughs> criticism even of really what, some circumstances that were out of her control as a child and as a teenager where she left an abusive home again it, to make it on her own that independence that I, I think is, is so extremely important and it's part of her character that will um, do good things for this country but for those who would criticize and mock that you know it really makes you, you question their character and um, I, I think that that was a sad development, but again, per, in this race, perhaps not too shocking because if that criticism, if that mocking for, because of someone's background, because they didn't go to, you know, foo foo she she high Ivy League college, you know, <laughs> if that sounds familiar, it, it should feel and sound familiar to you. Because you know who did, they did this to? Ronald Reagan. When Reagan was a B actor in Hollywood, right? He, that was his vocation at the time. He still was able to relate to the people. He had real world experience. Nobody was just handing him anything. He was out there working really hard. And they degraded him. They criticized him and mocked him because he wasn't an elitist. Thank God he wasn't an elitist. Look what he did for our country in relating to the people. We miss him today, I tell you. So what Karen has gone through, I think, should be honored. It should be respected because it is real world experience that can, those who perhaps haven't gone through such things, they can learn from Karen and uh, they will be better off, I including the person who said what he said. He'll be better off once he starts learning from Karen Handel. So let me, Introduce to you, though she's already your friend, the next United States Senator from the great state of Georgia. Here. 